nuclear physics happens at the, the absolute smallest scale possible. And if we are to, to be able to take that information, model it with numerical methods and so forth, and actually predict the things that we observe in a full-scale reactor, there, there's a lot, a lot of work. And many of the reactor operators are students. So this is really unique and, and uh, many do consider coming here because of it. The Semiconductor Materials and Radiological Technologies Laboratory, or well, Smart Lab, is uh, one of the largest detector laboratories in the country located at any university. We have the smart lab with the class 100 clean room where we can take our wafer and process them from start to finish. And then we can come down the hallway and come to the trigger reactor and then we can place them in the neutron beam port and actually directly test the detector and determine its thermal neutron efficiency. I wanted to do the nuclear stuff because I knew nothing about it and I'm always, I'm always hungry to learn. so. Um, that kind of is what drew me to it. It's given me a lot of experience with uh, the hands-on part of actually operating the reactor, maintaining the systems, uh, understanding all the things about it. I learned how to operate the reactor, um, the licensing requirements, and how reactors work. You have experimental evidence for each of the individual physics. And so that's, that's also one of the things that I work on with one of my colleagues, uh, Douglas McGregor, who uh, leads the Smart Lab here. We are a very robust program. I think our research uh, dollar amount right now has topped over $30 million in the last 10 years. My group alone has published over uh, 150 papers in the last 15 years. With the, the, the associated simulation, these, the, these efforts can be bridged and ultimately be used to validate these large-scale simulation uh, efforts. We have a gem here that we want people to know about and know the opportunities that they would have. Uh, the opportunities for hands-on laboratory experiences, working with very talented and accomplished faculty. As part of this state initiative to increase the number of engineering graduates, the state has given money to Kansas State University and one of the ways we're using it is to build this new what we call phase four building, which is really going to unite the three engineering buildings into a, a, an integrated uh, engineering complex. I was looking for a university that can offer me the freedom. So the nice thing about Kansas State was I was given all the freedom in the world. K-State is a uh, remarkable uh, area for training of young minds. Uh, we take our undergraduate teaching very seriously here. It's an outstanding program, ranked in the nation. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Nuclear is knowledge and opportunity right now. Mm -hmm. Huge room for expansion and a, a lot to learn about it. Here at Kansas State, if I want to get something done, I can do it. I have all the freedom and flexibility and the encouragement to, to do so.